Hello everyone, this is Tivek and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Season 2, Episode 2. So in the last one I built this uh, little mine here and went downstairs to find uh, a huge cave system. I'll just say, I didn't do so much more exploring, um, but I decided I'd cook up some uh, iron here. I'm actually gonna get uh, one... Two, three, six more. And we just acquired hardware. Awesome. Yeah, because I figured if there's one thing that I will need to have, it's an iron pickaxe. And also, I'm going to make... Actually, let's save up on the iron. One more. I'll make an iron axe. I don't really need it, but it's good for chopping down trees and will be fast. The rest will be made of these little nifty gemstones, which we will find downstairs. There we go. The sword is looking alright. This is interesting. I can be in digging mode and have a sword at the same time. That might actually be a very smart idea. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just keep the sword though. Um, I also wanted to craft up a couple of torches. I made some chests so that I have plenty of space. There we go. 30 tor torches. So it looks like it's in the middle of the night, so let's head back down into the caves and grab some of these gems, because I want to make gem pickaxes before I do anything else. Oh, hello there. Look at that, I can... There we go. I can do a shield bash. I just attack while I have a shield up. So, I checked that chest. It hasn't got a lot of cool things, but let's grab one of these. One of those. One of those. So that's enough for a pickaxe. I'm gonna have to use this one for a while though until it breaks. Um, yeah, we'll do some more spelunking, I think. Gonna have to light this up for you guys. I can see, but I know how difficult it can be on YouTube because it can be very dark. Um, I'll put it on there and there because we are headed down. Lots of resources. Wow. These gem items are really good. And, uh. Wow, this goes on. Yeah, the gem items are very good, so. Um. They hit like diamond, I believe, but has reduced, um. durability, so it will break. Okay, I can't go down there. Yeah, let's uh, go back a bit and find that nifty little... Look at this. Can I go down here without dying? No. There might be redstone down there and would be worth trying for, but... Um, basically, I do want to have some redstone. Let's um, go this way, guys. I made this a bit safer today. Just to make sure that we don't die just because we're stupid and fall down into this cave, which I'm almost done there. Uh, that was close. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's always smart to dig the block you're standing on. <coughs> or not. You're gonna need a fair deal of tin and quite a lot of redstone. But if I continue down here... Was this... Did I find the end of the caves here? No. There we go. As you can see, these gems are not that uncommon. Yeah, I think I found an end here. I think. Yes. Okay, so let's head back up. Anything I can take with me here? This string, I will keep that. String is not... It's not that difficult to get. I mean, what with the, the flax seeds and everything. I think it's industrial craft, is it? I'm not sure. So many mods. Okay, so it looks like we found ourselves on one of these ledges, and I see a creeper hiding. Let's climb up. Bye. Yeah, I know. Don't gonna... I'm not gonna walk on that. That could be... Very bad. So we came from down there. Here's a neat thing. You can climb down with this. And drop safely. Oh look, an iron ingot and some redstone. That's actually exactly what I wanted right now. Because that means if I just... Um, let's make a little bit of a base here. Maybe a bridge over there. Just expand this out a bit, like so. Yeah, the reason why I wanted redstone and iron right now is for an equivalent exchange item. Well, I think you guys might know what it is, but let me just show you. I'll make another crafting table. I have, what, six of them now? and I'll put it there and I will make another set of sticks and we'll make our pickaxe and we'll make a red shovel and I didn't get any green stones yet can I see any here? No, I can't. Alright, all over that. An iron ingot will be forged into chain, which be used for chain boots. Oh. And these, in turn... I don't know. I have no idea why fire is made. Anyhow, uh, redstone and iron ingot makes this light blue cyan covalence dust. Put that with any item and it repairs the item. It's very neat I tell you. So the pickaxe we can keep until it breaks and let's make more sticks and we can throw these two away I think and a blue sword. Perfect. I can have to throw away something else. Let's see. I'll actually make dual wield because it looks cool. We can throw with stone sword and use a dual wielding sort of thing. There we go. And 
Yeah, let's just throw these down to the mobs. There we go. Very neat. Wow. These crystals, these are tainted crystals, I'm pretty sure. Which is not a good sign. Alright, so... These babies, they hit hard. Also... You see the speed of this one? A bit faster. Durability is about halfway between, or I don't know, is 75% between iron and um, and uh, diamond. So it's pretty close to it's pretty close to uh, a diamond pickaxe. Quite like it. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. Thankfully, I have some cooked meat. That was a bit wasteful, I know. Some of you guys are probably shouting, why did you do that? But hey. I'm full now. Duh. That's all that matters. Okay, so that didn't lead anywhere. My inventory is also very full. It looks like it's day out, but it will probably be night before I get up. Oh well. We might actually have problems finding sheep. Although I've seen them spawn in jungle before, so... So yeah, lots of mining in this episode too. I think I'll cut for now and uh, start head back up for the surface. And once I am there, I'll resume recording. Or do we want to... No, we don't have the space to do more exploring, so let's head up. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're almost up, guys. Awesome. And it looks like it's day, but it might be going on night. Yeah, sun is going down. Well, that's uh, alright. I am going to build my house here. We're gonna have to stick with. Should we build a tree house, maybe? Hmm. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Tree house might be cool. But there are a few things that I wanna make first. So, let me just dump off all these resources that I managed to harvest. It's a sizable amount of tin and copper. Nice amount of that as well. Yeah, looks good. I'm just gonna dump that as well and uh, place down another chest. Let's just expand this out a bit like this. And uh, put a chest here for everything else that we find or that we want to keep just so I don't have to run around with so much in my inventory. Oh wait, that goes in there. And the apple we can eat. Alright guys, so let's go out and chop down some trees, shall we? Just clearing this area a bit. We'll get a lot of uh, jungle wood. I'm not such a fan of the color, but I can live with it. Just clearing out this beach for me to live on. I know I shouldn't be destroying leaves with an axe, but I don't care. It'll get so much more out of this, so... And boom! You 
You know what would be nice right now? If I could find sheep. Oh, look at that. That's a huge volcano. Is that what I think it is? No, it's a flower. I'm just looking around this general area a little bit. Wow, these trees are huge. And that's the sun setting. And let's keep these trees, but this has to go. And that one. And that one. On that one. Just clearing this beach up a bit because let's build us a nice beach house, shall we? Yeah. We have mixed wood to work with, so it'll look a bit odd. That's a zombie. What's he doing there? The bad thing of having dual wheeling is that you can't parry, but I never really gotten parry to work either, so, <laughs> yeah. Let's, um, store away some of that wood. Let's place down a chest in there. Um, hello? What happened? Has to be there we go. That's an odd little placing bug. I don't know. Yeah, the jungle wood and the normal wood have different colored planks. So, I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these. But, it'll have to work. So... There is one thing that I would like to create, so let's actually smelt two more iron ore. I don't want to smelt up too many before I get uh, my red power stuff, but this can be the tree and saplings one. Yeah, I don't want to uh, do too much before, uh, no, not red power, industrial craft, because there are a few things that I really want to use there. There we go. Lots of torches. We're gonna need them. Hold on a moment, guys. Alright, so the item that I want to make will take two iron ingots, two of these, and sticks. There we go. I don't need so many, but let's make a sapphire handsaw. Basically, what this one does is that it lets me cut down items, make them a bit smaller, but let me show you instead. Cut these wooden planks. I can put them and make slabs. Okay. So these slabs work like so. Quite neat. Let me just get that axe out. These slabs can be combined back to wooden, wooden planks. But I can also cut them to panels. You know this, guys. You've seen my previous Let's Play. And you know how this works. There we go. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna be using these for my um, uh, for my house, and I think that I can make covers. Yes, I can do covers. And these are just the same thing. Only they're a bit smaller. Useful. Yes. And of course, these two can be combined combined, and we get back our planks. 
So I do tend to get a lot of these uh, leftovers, so to say. Let's uh, put the axe instead of the pickaxe right now. And uh, we should really expand this area a little bit, flatten it out maybe. I'm not sure how I want to build this really. I'm gonna have to experiment a bit and build something nice. So it's a lot of mixed trees here. Both like and don't like, so... I have an idea. Something like this. I'm just gonna clean this a bit. I don't think creepers can climb ladders, can they? Hmm. I'm definitely gonna have to do something with frames later to build. Yeah, I do have an idea. So let me just uh, do a little bit of uh, building and uh, digging, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I did a little bit of building, just messing around with micro blocks a little bit, made these sort of beams going across the roof there, these are all micro blocks, but you can walk on them, and eventually I will put up a wall along here, I might make it a fence. I'm not sure yet, but it's going to be something to work with. Uh, in that direction will be the sunset. As you can see, the sun is going down there. We have the sunrise of the hills in that direction. So I might want to clear out this area. Oh, and that's a bit of lag. I wonder what happened. Probably something that loaded. Yeah, I'm going to uh, open up this area here. I picked up a new plant. It's hosta. I have no idea what this is, but it makes cactus green, and you all know cactus green makes uh, waterproof pipes, which is very good. I can place down the seed and... Uh, oh, that's fast growing. Yeah, a few of these plants are like that, and uh, I'll try not to abuse it too much, <coughs> like so. So, I'm gonna keep building this house out a bit. It'll be on stilts. And uh, I'm actually gonna make it sort of like. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I'll take these. Put them like this. No. Let's check. Huh. I might have to cut these down first. Let's try to covers. And from these covers, make a hollow. And from these, make a slab. And yeah. I was thinking to put these around there somehow. I know it works. I can put it there. But I can't put it in there. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. I can combine them and get my planks back. Which I will then cut down to slabs because that's how I had them. So yeah, I will continue on building this a bit and uh, expanding on this and yeah, I'm gonna use this uh, wood though. Yeah, I will. I will use the jungle wood 
so we have the uniform look of the house. And uh, I'll also make some space. Whoa, that's a big tree. Not anymore. I'll also make some space in the area, probably around here, dig out an area for a tree farm for these. So I'm going to have to get rid of a few of these big trees. Not too many. I'd like to keep this one, though. Just need to have the area. So I'll work on that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Can you believe it, guys? I planted three trees. Did I get a single sapling? No. Oh, well. I'm just going to have to live with it. But I do have tappable spots. Not too many, but at least a couple. It'll have to do. I'll soon have the sunrise from over there. I'm going to have to clear that out, I think. Um, I'm just thinking, did I get any more bones for bone meal. I'm gonna need a lot of it, but I'm thinking I should cut these down. Hmm. I'm gonna get a tree tap. And we can make these out of wood. You've seen me make tree taps before, haven't you? There we go. Let's get two. They break too fast. And since this is a tree that I'm not going to be keeping... No taps on this. I'll just chop them down. You can extract them later once we have an extractor. And I'm going to tap that until it stops dropping any at all. Did this one have any taps? Yes, one. And let's keep tapping that until it goes away. It's just for the extra few. Maybe. I'm lucky. Not a single of them dropped. Oh, that's sad. But maybe that's something that they have fixed in the latest version of Industrial Craft. And I don't know. Maybe. There we go. That's one tree tap. Yeah. They don't last very long, as you can see. But hey. I got myself 20 sticky resin, which means that we can start out on our industrial craft stuff quite soon. But I will want to make a house of it first. Um, this tree is going to be in the middle of our house, so there it goes. That's a lot of items. A lot of wood. There we go! Look at that. So I'm gonna have to dig a bit in this. I have to keep an eye on the shovel so it doesn't break. Something like that. And we take this and get, grab a bunch. A stack, maybe? Yeah. A bunch of slabs. Um, cut to strips, first of all. And I'll make them pillars. So it's about two in between. Yeah. This is one, two. There's one. One, two. And there's one. Ow! That was close. 
Yeah. That was very close. That could have been very, very sad. Because, trust me, this is far off from where I started. Let's just, for the sake of it, make a waypoint here. And call it home. Make it whitish. Yeah, white. There we go. Home. And let's just hide it for now. I do want to go into this one, though. And... Uh, um, death points. There it is. Death points. Yeah. I want to have death points on, because if I die, I want to be able to get back. It's going to have to be some more landscaping later, but... No more creepers, I hope. And that will be another of these. So this will be sort of like uh, an outdoors area deck thing. I can expand it out here, which I will do. But this area here will be for the house. I imagine a quite low house, lots of windows. I'll go to the desert to pick up sand and we'll burn it for burn it for a lot of glass because we're going to need it. So yeah, I'll spend the next couple of minutes uh doing this. See, repaired. Awesome. Uh, building this one out like this. Making it look all awesome and stuff. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I've done a fair deal of building and I found some peanuts. Awesome. So, it's quite dark out, I know, but I thought I'd show you the house that I've built. It's missing glass windows right now, it's because I don't want to spend a lot of uh, coal on on uh, burning glass. I'll do that once I get the industrial craft stuff up and running. But yeah, this is the house. I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now. It looks very jungle style ish something like that yes so i'm just going to tap these and uh, going to have to see if i can get started with some industrial craft we're going to need to need to build a generator at least and uh, maybe a few more things all these blocks that i've used are all micro blocks I haven't used up here a single normal block except for the doors. So, a big thumbs up for Elrum and Red Power 2 because these micro blocks, they're awesome. They're really nice to build with. Alright, so, can I build a generator? I would need four tin, two redstone, um, three copper and uh, a couple of resin. I need to get this all cooked up. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna make about two should do. Two furnaces and they will all be they will all be smelting wood. Because that's something that I have lots of here. Maybe not that wood. Yeah, that wood. There we go. And there we go. I'm gonna spend enough for these because that will make a lot of charcoal. It's sort of doubling the resources or quadrupling my resources or eight times as much, I suppose. 
All right, so let's cook up these. So we get some rubber out of that. We're also going to have to make uh, a generator. So let's see, industrial craft. Okay, um, let's cook up the copper ore. I'm not sure, let's see, for the normal style batteries, that's the one I'm looking for. I need to mu use three refined iron on an iron furnace. So let's make three refined iron. So I'm gonna need a total of eight. I'm also gonna need about three more of these. Yeah, so this will be a lot of charcoal. Oops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So, I'm gonna let this cook up and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, here I am, just making some copper cables. Um, still waiting for this to smelt up. But we're starting to get a decent amount of charcoal. We'll burn through 16 coal, but in return we'll get 128 that we can use. Which is awesome. Um, a little bug that I found is that if I were to recreate a new sapphire handsaw with the covalence dust, I actually get a duplicate. So I will only use that when it's really, really, really low. Um, and then use up the other one. I think it's a bug, but yeah. So the furnace with the iron ingots. Iron furnace. Awesome. And uh, we're gonna have to make three refined iron. Just cleaning up my inventory a little bit here. I have to try this axe of the stream, but I don't dare using it just yet. I have no idea what it does. Once this refined iron is done, we'll cook up the tin ore. There we go. Better than iron. Yes. And it's used in a lot of neat things. You can use it in the rolling machine. That's uh, for railcraft, and you can use it in a lot of industrial craft recipes. Like, for instance, the illuminators, and uh, scaffolding, fences, cables. There is a toolbox. I have no idea how it works. I'm going to have to try and use that at some point. I think that might be new for this version actually. Alright, so we now have four tin, two redstone, and one copper cable makes a battery. And of course these combined will make a generator. Awesome. Alright, the next one we're gonna make is the macerator. With that, I'm going to need three flint. We're going to need a machine block. I'm going to have to look up maze writer. Yeah, machine block. We're also going to need an electronic circuit. So we're going to need a total of seven refined iron. So let's get seven of these and cook them up. 
We're also gonna need another copper cable. Unfortunately, you can't just you can't just make one cable. So we might as well make all six of them. We'll get a few extra. It doesn't really matter. And how am I for saplings? We're running low on these saplings. I'm gonna actually go and plant a couple. This might be a good plan. We'll do that while it's cooking up. These are just normal trees, so... This will look a bit out of place for <laughs> for the jungle. But it'll have to do. Say one, two, three, four, five, and then the tree. Yes. So that would be the next one, and that would be the next one. One, two, three, four, five, and then the tree, so we're gonna have to dig. Making this sort of a tree farm area. We'll replace these normal trees uh, with. Oh, a bit of lag there. We'll replace these with the uh, rubber trees once we get the, uh, the saplings for that. But for now, we'll just use this as a place for a little bit of extra saplings and wood. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then the sapling. So I think in the next recording I'm gonna bump up the quality of the recording because I'm recording half size now and um, it doesn't didn't look very good on the on the recordings it looked a bit blurry but we'll see how it looks um, let me know what you think if I should bump up the quality or not I might do it takes a bit longer for me to render, but doesn't matter that much. Okay, I also got some flax seeds, and uh, these I'm gonna plant down. So let's uh, make one of these. Stone hoe, perfect. Can place that one down. down here, yes. And we'll place the flax seed down like this. I got more of them. Awesome. Yeah, we need that quite badly because I don't have a bed yet and uh, the only way that I can get one right now would be through string. There we go. That should be enough for now. I can actually actually grab some... Which I should. I'll grab some bone meal. Because I really need to have that bed set up before I go and die. There we go. That should be plenty of string. Also, plenty of new flax seeds. So I'll replant this and let this grow normally. Could these please get to be farmland already? Oh well. Yay, enough for a bed. That's awesome. So, we all know the recipe. Three wood and then three of these. Perfect. I was thinking to put the bed in this corner here. Oh, it doesn't look like it wanna be placed on these half slabs. That's gonna be a problem. Hmm. 
I know that I can place other blocks. Uh, I wonder how to solve this. Maybe because they're too thin. Hmm. That's going to be a bit annoying. Let's see if I can do this in some way. Alright, anyhow, so we have these and we're just cooking up the last few of these. We now have 64 and another 64 charcoal. Very good, we're gonna need that for the generator. For now I think I'm gonna put the generator room down here. So I'm gonna expand on this a bit. And since this is just below our house, I'm gonna have enough space to uh, run cables up for the machines that I want to put up there. So we'll put it here somewhere. Put the generator, let's say, are we, yeah, we're just outside, out underneath the house. There we go. And uh, the last one. Perfect. Just cooking up the copper now and we have everything we need, I th think. I do hope, oh, we're one redstone short, actually. Hmm. I might have to go and dig some. So that means I'm going to have to end this episode now. Um, for the next episode, we'll get Industrial Craft running, do a bit of macerating, and uh, expand on the house a bit, see if I can put down my bed somewhere. I'll find a way. I'll do that off camera, and I'll tell you how I did it. All right. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.